Well, just as we threatened and it delivered, we saw a dry condition in practice. And just as soon as we see that, as you can see, the windshield wipers are on. There's no such thing as an easy battle anymore. So you got to be on your A game. But I like that. I thrive off of that pressure. And I think any and all of these competitors need that competition to do well. Our season ended really well last year. In 2015, we finished second in the series. Um, so yeah, coming into Long Beach, I had a lot of confidence. And then the rain came. Uh, we had not done a wet test with these tires yet, so I really didn't know what to expect out of these SUR4s. But the first lap out, it just completely blew my mind, and I was overwhelmed by the amount of grip we had on the wet. They're super predictable, and it's probably the best combination of a dry compound and a wet tire compound I've ever been on, so pretty excited. Last year, we won a championship, and that was my dream come true. This year, we've already proved ourselves, you know? We know what we can do, but we have a big target on our backs. Everybody wants to crush us now. We had some technical issues yesterday. We actually blew a motor in the first round, but having the best team in the business is amazing. That's what I need to keep this TC in check. Those guys do an amazing job. We're back out now, ready to defend our title. The most amazing part of being teamed up with Nexon is that they allowed us to help develop a new tire. And that's exactly what we're looking for as a team. And engineers promised us a great tire, and they certainly are. This year, we're about to go into some pretty stiff competition. I can't wait to do this. When I get behind the steering wheel, I pretty much just let my body take over. It's all muscle memory from there. And car setup here is extremely crucial because it's extremely high speed. There's no room for error in today's drifting because everyone's pretty much spot on and you have to be on your A game every single lap. I only get to do three events this year, but I love this track. It's a racetrack that needs a lot of speed, needs a lot of grip. Tires are critical, horsepower is critical, and then because it's kind of a longer track, consistency is critical. Plan 
Montana is probably one of the fastest courses on FT circuit. A lot of elevation changes, big acceleration zones, hard braking, hairpins. This track has it all. And I think the guy that's gonna take this event is gonna be the guy that keeps consistent and also has the fastest car on the grid. Fans in Atlanta are unlike any other place I've been. It's always a rowdy bunch. You almost kind of drift into a little bowl where the natural terrain kind of keeps you in this bowl and you can hear people from all directions. If you anticipate what the car's gonna do, then you're already too late. Normally I would feel like I'm a part of the car, it's as if it's an extension of my limbs. You gotta drive the car the way you want it, and here at Road Atlanta, it was all dry, great opportunity for us to test tires. The Nexon SUR4s were the ultimate tires I've ever been on. Drift Championship presented by Blackview. We are your tour guides. I'm Jared Nienda. And joining me once again is my co-host and great friend Ryan Sage. Ryan, how are we doing? We're doing great. You know, it's a really hot day here at Orlando Speed World. Humidity in the air, possibly a little bit of rain, but so far so good. We're seeing some great runs in practice and looking forward to an amazing event here.
on Nexon Tires, the Norwegian Hammer, Frederick Osborne! That's it. Back in business. First place here in Orlando. New Jersey coming up next. Let's do this. a big stir in the championship allowing Frederick Osbo to retake the championship lead and now he'll have an opportunity here to lay down his first run in qualifying Jonathan Castro coming into initiation quick e-brake pull struggling a little bit on initiation there trying to find his grounding big smoke line coming off those nexons as he wraps around an inside clip as now he brings it through outer zone number two good angle here Nice fluid motion through the whoop section. A little bit long on that inside clip, trying to stay deep into this touch and go section here. Nice and tight on that final inside clip. And Jonathan Castro coming in at a score of 73, putting him into fourth place. Clasificación fue un día bastante trabajado. Desde que salimos en las primeras dos vueltas tuvimos un pequeño problema con la, con la cremallera. Eh, se arregló, encontramos un catra de atrás, como decía, también se dañó, lo arreglamos. Empezamos, hicimos la primera vuelta de clasificación para conseguir la puntuación necesaria y clasificar. Logramos entrar. En la segunda vuelta hicimos un poco más agresivo en la iniciación, pero cometí un error saliendo del banking, lo cual me, me desentió todo. Así que nada, eh, me siento bien como quiera, estamos bastante contentos. Mañana es otro, otro juego diferente, vamos más duro. Hola, hoy es sábado, el día del juego, la verdad, la verdad, realmente ha sido un día bastante productivo, hicimos unos cambios bastante importantes, hicimos una, una tareita de ver cuál es qué ajuste podemos hacer con las suspensiones con la KW que nos están dando el apoyo técnico y las, obviamente las gomas Nexen que nos están dando el grip necesario. 
vamos, vamos contra Michael Esa, el top 32, y luego de mediante vamos con eh, Body Bachis, que tiene un Byron. Así que nada, esperen buenos resultados para nosotros, estamos pasándola súper bien, así que estén atentos porque viene buena la cosa. Perdimos en el top 32, la verdad que es un poquito triste, pero al mismo tiempo contento de haber podido pasarlo con los amigos, compañeros. Eh, le sacan la contra a Michael Esa, eh, eh, simplemente cometí un error en la, estoy siguiéndolo, me pegué mucho, le di, perdí la, perdí la línea y ahí fue todo. Pero después de todo, realmente me siento bastante contento porque el carro está creciendo, está más rápido, el equipo está bien sincronizado. Así que nada, vamos ahora a seguir apoyando a nuestros compañeros de Nexen, eh, Frederick y Ken Gucci pasaron, así que esperamos que ellos puedan llegar al podio y me den un poquito de probar de champaña porque estoy seguro que vamos a llegar pronto allá. Nada, nos vemos en Canadá, Canadá es el próximo round, estamos ready, estamos muy seguros. Le aseguro que vamos a tener mucho mejor resultado. Así que para adelante, vamos duro. So the Saint Eustache Autodrome is pretty much the heart of the Canadian drifting culture. This is where it's all going down, and now with Formula Drift rolling into town, this is going to be huge. My initial impressions were that uh, this track is kind of small, but uh, it turns out that it's a great track. It could also be my new favorite. The first outer zone or the bank is kind of sketchy because the radius is not even. And you get close on entry and then you kind of have to separate to carry a smoother line and then get close again on exit. This crowd's really amazing. Everybody really shows the love and support, and it's a very humbling feeling, you know? So I'm gonna try to give as much of a show as possible. Coming through Outer Zone 2, I'm definitely gonna try to throw them a little bit of a show, you know? Uh, maybe a little clutch kick here and there, maybe try to throw some flames out. With the Nexon tires, the smoke's very thick, so it's a little bit harder to see through, but they got a ton of grip, a lot of side bite, and a lot of forward bite, and uh, that's definitely a big factor going into these FD rounds. These are your top 16 drivers, the Goosh! Congratulations. We came off of Canada feeling pretty good. The team has been doing awesome getting the car together. open practice where we get to dial in our car, you know, familiarize ourselves with this track that we've been coming to for about eight years now. Hey guys, K 
tank just topped the wall. Get ready to check the rear. One of the issues we were having was our steering locking up at full lock, basically going into the power alley, breaking towards inside clip one. Well, that happened behind Andrew Gray as I was chasing him down, and uh, I really had nowhere to go except straight into the wall. But uh, we got Boss Man working on it with a big sledgehammer, so I think we'll be all right. Ken was doing pretty good. We prepared the car for Seattle. A uh, little bit more power. I think he came in feeling pretty confident. Was doing really well. He just tapped the wall a little bit, came back with the bent wheel and a broken arm, but it was an easy fix. Qualifying went pretty good for us. Uh, we got a score of an 89 and we finished qualifying in sixth. So I think we're matched up against Jeff Jones for the first round of top 32 tomorrow. So definitely looking forward to it. We are live at Evergreen Speedway for round six of eight of the Formula Drift Championship presented by Black U Dash Cameras. I'm Jared Gienda. We'll have Ryan Sage and Ryan Montaigne give you the insights, and we have one heck of an opening ceremony here for you. It's game day, so the weather's looking great. I think this cooler climate works better for our cars, so it's actually rather perfect and it keeps us cool as drivers. We're about to start our practice before we get into our top 32 battles. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. You look good on the bank. Speed is there, the smoke is there. So far, it's feeling pretty solid, pretty consistent. Performance is pretty good. I think we can maximize a little bit more of the grip. Ken Gushi putting the car in that rear clipping zone. Jeff Jones navigating the front end of that black S14. Trying to get closer to Gushi. Good run there. All right, so uh, we just finished our top 32 battle against Jeff Jones, and I believe my next battle is against my Boost Brigade teammate, Robin Ishida. It is what it is. That's the nature of the game, but we're moving on. You see really tight to that wall there, now coming off into the touch and go area, reaches right on that yellow line. You can see Robin Ishida trying to navigate through the smoke as he tries to close the door on Ken Gushi. Ripping away big angle from Gushi. McCory lunges forward. And there it is. Ken Gushi gets the win against Tyler McCory. Man, hats off, hat tip, make some noise for Gushi. It was a pretty crazy day. We ended up in third place, and man, these Nexon tires did amazing for us. Uh, the grip was off the charts. Really proud of my team for putting together a phenomenal car for me to drive here at Seattle. The fans were crazy. Thanks to all of you. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in Texas. I started my career off when I was four years old. I did motocross until I was 13. I started racing jet skis. I won one world championship and seven national championships. After that, we found the sport of drifting. Ended up winning the Most Improved Driver Award and came in 2016. Teamed up with Nexon. Couldn't be more happy, but definitely we're here to stay. I break, I fall, I crawl. I me so much weight that you'll probably never believe it. I Some dream of greatness while others stay awake to achieve it. I do this.
the time when I was racing jet skis, I got very sick. We had to go to 30 different doctors. I actually had to go get surgery in Spain. Kind of just like a, a big blur that four years of having the sickness, you know. Most people would have given up after all the things I went through, but I was very determined whether it was a race car or jet ski, but I, I found drifting and now we're headed to the top. Giving choices to those who ain't had some. I use my voice to speak for those who's thinking they lack one. My passions are tense enough for me to use my voice and inspire a group and group of my words as loud as my actions. The top the dopest to God, the most to rock, the most to rebel and dirt and shots and flow is my pride and never survive. So even if I die for centuries through history, I'm alive. Being a champion in Formula Drift is definitely a big goal of mine. I absolutely love FD, it's where my heart is, but I'd like to be an ambassador of new, bigger things. I really want to keep growing, whether it's in this sport or in something new, so we're ready for the new challenges.